Hey guys, it's Karen. I am doing a quick video and I've tried to <laughs> make this video like 10 times and I keep messing up. So this one's going to be quick. This is my last one that I'm making for this year and I don't think I'm going to make any more covers until next year either because I'm busy. I have a Christmas party I need to start planning for and I really want to enjoy the holidays instead of being in my craft room working all the time. So, <clears throat> I present to you my last one for this year, which is really, it's cute. It's different. I try to do something other than Christmas. Um, this would make a good traveler's notebook for a teen or somebody that's young at heart. I mean, I love the pom-poms and stuff, but I probably wouldn't have this for myself, but I really like it. All right. Um... Starting out, this is the faux leather again, and this is a little bit softer than the marine vinyl. It is, of course, you can see it's black with the white stitching, and it has a one and a half inch spine and elastic, uh, the iridescent band around the outside and on the inside too. And I have to take this off from the bottom uh, because it keeps getting caught in the little pom-poms. Alright guys, in the front I just stuck some little things from the scrap pad in the pockets. They're really cute. Uh, and I put some throughout the whole notebook too. And I laminated a bunch of stuff which I'll show you at the end of the video. I don't really like using paper clips to put stuff in my pockets so I just put a piece of scrapbook paper on the back. I think that's cute. Excuse me. Uh, and this is the first insert which would be your monthly calendar and you get six months in there you can see that well and I did make a two-day marker page marker bookmark whatever you would like to call it and it has the silver um, I think it's the silhouette or the Cricut paper I use for that and then after your first insert <clears throat> I use the Happy Planner. I think these are called picture inserts. I mean, you can put embellishments or whatever you want to in there. I really didn't have anything to fit because everything that I cut out was too big. So, And I really wanted to decorate this. I just didn't have the stuff to put in here. So you have a lot of empty space to fill. And these are really cute. I just take some washi tape and tape two together. And then you have your first folder. And you can see that's the iridescent changes colors it's really cool um, now your first folder I didn't notice when I was taping this before that I need to cut the pockets out because because you have two pockets right here and two right here so I will go in and cut these out like I do the other ones and you have your pen loop <clears throat> the back part of your little picture insert and your next insert would be a graph paper and that says cat hair don't care and I have an eyeglass page marker too, or just for looks. I think these are so cute. And I put a bunch of graph paper in here. Uh, I did make a, a little shaker with some mermaids and sequins in there. That's really cute. And these are just buttons, and I'll just cut the back of them off, the little loops on here that you use to sew on your um, material. So that comes with it, the little mermaids, because it, they do have mermaid paper here. I don't know. Oh, here it is right here. <clears throat> and this is a page marker. This is your first one, and I stuck a mermaid in here too, and just one of those little pieces of paper. I guess it says you are my strawberry. I don't really know how to, I guess this, I don't really know how to pronounce that. <laughs> you can tell how old I am. <laughs> Alright, and you have the little kitty cats. Look like they're on the ice cream cone. And this is your next dashboard, which would be to your weekly calendar. And I believe I put eight weeks in there. Eight or twelve, I can't remember. But I will list it on the Etsy shop. And I do have these available in my shop if you would like to download those and print them out. Alright, and then after your weeks... I put a piece of acetate paper in here. I, I like using that. It's really cute. And you got some things over here that are funny. 
This would make a good, I don't know if I already said that, but this would make a good Traveler's Notebook for teen. The next one, uh, I did not put, and I usually don't put a, um, a dashboard cover like this one with the sheet protector. I usually just leave these uh, blank. But this is two pieces of scrapbook paper put together, that, and they're thick. And this one would be your lined paper. And then I have a, I cut this out up with my silhouette. It says whatever. <laughs> so whatever you want to put. <laughs> kind of matches that, huh? And this one has a lot of papers in there. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, <clears throat> I did use thin. I don't know if you can see that really good, but I did use thin elastics when I put two books together to slot under the main elastic band. Honestly, I don't really like using thick ones in here because when you start, excuse me, um, when you start tying knots, it gets really big and bulky and it just, it just adds to the book. I don't really like that. These are thin. You can change these if you would like to, but I've used them in mine and they work well. <clears throat> this, one, this is the back of your lawn paper and your acetate. This is really cute. This goes along with the kitty cats with the cones. And of course, we have a check register. <clears throat> and I believe I'll put 10 pages of that in here. And that's the back of that. And then you have a folder next um, with your little pen loop. And I think I made this one to fit a paper mate. So about that size you can fit on there. And this is four pockets with this folder. <clears throat> That's really cute. I like that so much. And then your next insert, yeah, this is your 70 pound paper with drawing paper insert, but you can use it for anything. It's just nice and thick. This one has french fries. And then in here it says Friday. <laughs> That's too cute. And then you have your second page marker. And this says exercise. I thought you said extra fries. I didn't put anything. I usually, I have been putting pom-poms down the side. But I've got enough on here. I just didn't add anything. <laughs> just kept them blank. And the last one, I stuck some cardstock paper in. Just different colors to kind of match the book. <clears throat> and that has mermaids on the outside. And that is it. And you have enough room. Um, see, this is just one on the back elastic band. So if you wanted to add something else in here with this, you can. And then, of course, always put pockets on the back. Now, um, the little laminated things, I made a little envelope to go with it. And you have a lot, but they're really cute. And I thought they would look better if I laminated them, so I cut them all out. And <clears throat> you have two more little mermaids, which, uh, it was hard cutting these out. <laughs> I had to do it with my x knife. This one says, I don't care. Mm, I tried. Nope. I didn't hit snooze today. Gold star, grown up. Still alive. Fed the cat. You did the thing. Adulting. I'm awesome. Eh, meh, whatever you want us to call that. <laughs> I was brave. Nap, champ, and okay job. Oh, one more. <clears throat> I took out the trash. So they're just really cute to stick on your on pages just to be silly, I guess. <clears throat> but they will come with the book in this envelope. And you can put this in the back of your book if you want to. It is a little thick, so it might add to your notebook. And that is it, guys. I may have a couple of 
extra things to stick in there um, that I stuck. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have a few more little things to stick in there. I don't think it's but a couple of them. But they came in a little scrap pad, so I usually like to include that. But that is it. Wait a minute, here's another one. Well, that one needs to be cut at the top. But that's it, guys. I'm going to try to get this on Etsy tonight and um, list everything that's in there. And I, these are, um, I had three of them, but I just decided to use two because the other color was dark. I mean, just like this color, but I didn't want to match. Yeah, these almost match too much. So I just put two of the other. They're kind of bulky because you can't really put this up against it. So anyway, that is it. It is finished. Let's go on on Etsy tonight. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'm going to get off of here and take some pictures and relax. Alright, if you guys have any, I think I just said that. If you guys have any questions, please ask away. Um, that's all. You guys have a good night.